introducing first, fight on the red corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing up by time at 136.8 pounds. Fighting out of Inglewood, California, representing LA Muay Thai, this is Caleb Westside Salazar. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. He stands 5'8", 10 inches tall, weight at fight time at 138.2 pounds. Fighting out of Downey, California, representing King Cobra, Isaac Della Paz. All right, fans, you are in for a treat. Caleb Salazar taking Isaac De La Paz, and I'm gonna call this a speed chess match. Using that technicality, that fight IQ, and that speed between these two veteran fighters. Here we go for round one. The fighters trying to measure for distance. Strong kick by Salazar. Salazar with the leg kick. This one had the ingredients on paper to be fight of the night. Let's see if it lives up to the formula. So far, a frenetic pace and start to this fight. Nice, beautiful left kick to the head by De La Paz and follows it up to the right to the leg. Both fighters there with a tight guard. Hands are flying from Salazar. Isaac De La Paz's haircut giving me old school Manny Pacquiao vibes oh, when, yeah. when he was fighting with the blonde highlights. <laughs> Strong action between Salazar and De La Paz. Salazar throwing some heat behind those kicks. Letting them fly to the legs. Both fighters going up and down. There's 30 seconds remain in this first round. Salazar strong with his punches coming in with a one-two. Chopping the tree down with those leg kicks. Fighting 10 seconds of this first round. Pulling knees, throwing hooks. And like I said, this is a speed chess match. But played with power. This first round comes to a close on your unofficial scorecard, Manute. Entertaining first stanza, which I'm going to give to Isaac De La Paz. Controlled the pace of the first round. Just uh, everything seemed to be working for him, just with his offensive onslaught there. The left kick to the right kick. Uh, beautiful pace and start to the round. What do you feel? Well, I like what Caleb Zamorano is doing. I mean, he was letting his hands go. He was finding his mark, but then both and he was throwing the kicks with power and a lot of heat. Could have gone either way, but both these guys have a lot of heat, a lot of power, a lot of volume. So that one, I have to say, I, I wouldn't like to be a judge in this one. It'll be interesting to see if the pace can continue uh, for round two and potentially round three, see if fatigue is going to play a factor. That was all action in the first round. And it's poised action. It's very technical, very clean. Nice right hand rattles Caleb Salazar. And a beautiful left kick to the face as well. Salazar just keeps marching forward, though. What an all-out slugfest we have here. Oh, and the fans are going crazy when they see this leather fly. Yeah, 
Both those guys just rallying back and forth with that leather. Nice strong punch. Hooked by Salazar. Salazar with a step kick inside. De La Paz with the one, two. And Salazar comes back and rallies with a punch and a head kick. And then De La Paz comes in with the knees. It is just incredible action here. These two words, I mean, it's like De La Paz throws a one, two. Salazar returns a one, two. One throws a kick, they all return with another kick, and it is back and forth. And these guys are rocking each other. Hands are flying for the final 10 seconds. De La Paz tries to ran up in the air for a fake and letting those hands go. And these guys are having fun and the fans are excited for what these two warriors are giving us. As we enter round number three, man, it is a rally back and forth. It is like speed tennis, speed table tennis, it is speed chess, everything combined in one, but with power. These two warriors are throwing that heat. Manuk, I'm gonna put you on the spot again for round number two. I thought that was a bounce back round for Caleb Salazar, I haven't won one, but what a fantastic back and forth, rock and sock and robots kind of fight here. I think Caleb Salazar is definitely doing a great job countering De La Paz. He was sometimes coming in a little bit too recklessly and leaving himself open. And uh, I thought Caleb won that round more convincingly than De La Paz did on the first round on my card. And if it's true, it is 1-1 each. This third and final round may determine the winner as they will put it all on the line. Caleb Salazar taking on Isaac De La Paz. And they are fighting every second of this two-minute round. De La Paz, the hands going up and down and chopping the legs. Using that walk knee combination. Salazar letting those hands go. And I think neither fighter has proven that they respect each other's power, which is why this is such a fantastic fight so far, because they're just standing in the middle, banging it out. And it's almost like they have identical fight styles. Oh, beautiful kick to the leg. Inside leg kick, not rule the knockdown though. And these guys are pushing it. And one minute remaining in this third and final round and they are throwing leather. And just pounding each other, just relentless fighting in the pocket. Cardio is certainly not a question for these two gentlemen. We, I asked and questioned if that was going to be the case. Certainly not a factor right now. And definitely not, but they are emptying that gas tank in this final 30 seconds of this third and final round. And they are content to stay and bang it out. Putting the pedal to the metal. And they are just feeding off the energy of this crowd. As they are just banging and the hands and leather is flying. And nope, ruled the slip. And that, my friends, is fighters rep kickboxing. At its finest. As these two warriors, Caleb and Salazar and Isaac De La Paz, Gave us three rounds of what top level kickboxing is. And wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look. Manuk, how do you see these replays? Terrific exchanges. I mean, the fact that these guys are still fighting in the amateurs is surprising to me. Nearly 40 fights between them, and you could tell by the pedigree of experience between these two fine gentlemen. 
Uh, good luck to the rest of the cards beating this one as fight of the, <laughs> beating this one as fight of the night. A sensational slugfest, and it's unfortunate that there's going to have to be a loser in this one. Um, wouldn't be surprised if it's a split decision. But just as I predicted before the fight started, that this one had fight of the night material on it, and it proved to deliver. And that level of respect between these two warriors, empty it, put it all on the line. Let's send it to Joshua Shibata for our official decision between these two hard-hitting warriors. All right. First of all, fight fans, make some noise. That is by far the greatest fight we've ever had here in the Lion's Den. Make some noise for both of these fighters. I don't care what you got to say about kickboxing. This is the greatest fight we've ever had. An amazing, amazing performance. After three rounds of amazing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for their decision. Judges number one and two scored about 29-28, while judge number three scored about 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision. From the red corner, Caleb Wesson Salazar. And a unanimous decision for Caleb Salazar. One judge had it three rounds to nothing while the other had it two to one. I'm not sure if it was that definitive for it to be three nothing considering the seesaw action that transpired, but wow. Let's run that one back again. That's all <laughs> I can say about that one. Josh Shibata calling it the fighter's rep fight of all time. It's hard to argue. But the fact that Caleb Salazar sneaked away with this win is a testament to his willpower. And you can tell he was a very motivated fighter in this one. Kudos to the matchmakers, George Francis and the team, for putting this fight together. Let's hope they can do it again. And I don't know the story behind the photo. We didn't get a chance to talk to Caleb Salazar. It looked like he took part and represented something that is very passionate to him. All right, I'm win. with your winner here, Caleb Salazar. Caleb, what a performance. Absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever seen such an amazing fight. How do you feel after a war here in the Lions Day? Yeah, um, first of all, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Fighting Rep, to my fans, to people who are just supporting me right now. Thank you. And uh, shout out to Isaac De La Paz. Um, that's what the fuck it takes to be to get to where you want to be. Um, you know, I, w I wasn't always this skilled and I had to take hard challenges. And after you get over those hard challenges, you become a fucking beast like me. Um, and other than that, give me my fucking title shot. Where are you, George? I need my title shot. Well, there we go. That was going to be my question. You know, your super lightweight division has a lot of killers in there, including the man that's on top, Jason Gator Ganado. I know you've heard that name before. What are your thoughts on a title shot with him? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Jason, who, whatever the fuck. Um, I'm, just, I'm just here to collect my shit and get the fuck out. That's it. There you go. Now, let's talk at least a little bit about the fight. Absolute war. You had a little time off, but man, what was the strategy going into this fight? The strategy was um, just focusing on our, on our technique. I didn't have to worry about my weight cut really or anything else. All I had to do was focus on what my coach was telling me, and uh, we moved forward from there. I trust 100%. If he tells me to do something, even if my fucking leg is hurting, I'm going to throw that fucking kick, whatever it is, because that's what we need to do to win. That's what it takes to be a champ. You got to work through that stress. Now, let's talk about it. I saw you talking to Crew David Huerta right before the third round, and it seemed to me, he might correct me, he mouthed, you got two minutes. 
You got two minutes. What was going through your head at that moment? Uh, two minutes. All I all I understood was st stick to the plan. He told me to do something. I have to do it. He in here. It's it's a different game. This this is a sport, but it's also it's you have to have like a job. My coach tells me to do something. I'm gonna get that shit out the fucking way. There you go. Now, you have a lot of friends, fans, family here in the Lion Den. Do you have anything you want to get, tell them, the last words? Hey, thank you, my fans. West motherfucking side in this bitch. Inglewood, rest in peace, King Chris. I love you, baby. I love you, King Chris. is my twin brother. There you go. And once again, thank you very much. Your winner, Caleb Salazar.